Are you so tired of seeing so many links and so much content around what AI is good at or panic inducing posts about how AI is going to take jobs? Great, because this is not that. This is a post about how AI is actually really, really bad at certain things. And it's not something that's easily fixable. It's not that people aren't trying, it's that it's not super easy to fix. And it's something that if it were me, I would be betting on from a skills perspective. Number one is the skill of novel reasoning. So large language models actually don't reason. They just recall context. Now you can stick a tool chain on there and, and you can make them symbolically reason to some extent if you do that off of the large language model and then just port the results back in and make it talk in English, right? So the fact that I had to use all those words to describe that should tell you people are having to bend over backwards to make LLMs reason at all. And the reason why is that LLMs are actually just good at conversational flow. They're good at repeating text and patterns that we understand because they've read all of our text. They've read everything. They've read everything we wrote before the internet. They've read everything after the internet. And now they're reading stuff that they themselves created. So they're really good at repeating text. And that's amazing. And it allows them to do a lot of things, but mostly it allows them to do things where there are repeatable patterns that they can copy from and then regurgitate in ways that are technically new, but not new kinds of things, not new kinds of problems. And so much of business is about solving net new problems. Frankly, it's not just business. Government is about that. Education is about that. You're solving net new problems. We're teaching people to solve net new problems. We're solving net new problems for society, whatever it is. That is what humans are actually really good at. And LLMs are really, really bad at it. They just don't do it. And the reason we get fooled into thinking that they do is because they have read so much, they sound so smart. They've read so much. They've read more than I have, than anybody else has. My library is tiny comparatively. And we think that if someone's well-read, they must really understand how to do novel reasoning. And that's been a really reliable assessment of human intelligence for as long as we've been able to read and write as a species. And that's no longer true. And I think that's really kind of confusing our brains because we have this thing that is super well read that sounds super smart when we talk to it. And it's still not doing novel reasoning. It's still not solving that new problems reliably. Just reading everything doesn't allow you to solve a net new problem. And this is where what we call business judgment comes into play. That's a really soft, wishy-washy word, but a lot of it hinges around reliably solving net new problems in ways that make sense in the market. And regardless of whether the role is a C-suite role or an individual contributor role, every role has some business judgment to it. And generally speaking, the business judgment parts are the parts that matter the most. And those are the parts that large language models are not good at. And so, that should be encouraging to you. We're not going to run out of jobs that require business judgment because we're not going to run out of problems that require innovation to solve. All right. The second skill that LLMs are terrible at is real-time context. In fact, the founders of businesses that are building LLMs, like OpenAI, have admitted that there isn't really a great answer yet to how large language models are supposed to handle real-time breaking news. This happened just in 2024 as we had breaking news event after breaking news event and search engines that were supposedly built around AI or had AI components, including Google, did not reliably update their LLM answers when breaking news happened because they're just not designed for net new real world context. They're designed to read a gigantic context window and synthesize information. That's a terrible way to handle a net new fact. It's just bad. And it extends beyond breaking news. There's a fundamental problem with LLMs in that they are really good at synthesizing from a large quantity of written text in the past. And they are really, really bad at understanding the real world realities of something happening right now in your local context. For instance, no LLM is going to be able to realize that it is raining outside right now, and therefore I do not need to water my tomatoes. 
Now you can use much simpler apps for that. There are apps that will measure soil moisture and then choose not to water the garden, but that's not AI. And the thing is those simple apps, as you already know, because we have had those for a long time, do not really replace jobs either. There is something about local context that is irreplaceable as far as human brains are concerned. You need someone to sit there and I'm going to go from like watering the tomatoes to something that like a human can do. If you were sitting there and you're trying to digest a bunch of different Slack messages and you're trying to understand what your boss is expecting you to do, and you're trying to understand what that JIRA ticket says, and you are making sense of it all in your head, that process that's hard to describe, LLMs are really bad at it. And also the simple apps that water the tomatoes are terrible at it because they can't even understand it. And so, you know, we've had those simple applications of technology for the last, you know, few decades. And we've had the more fancy applications that are like language related for the last year or two. And that's what we're all excited about and scared about this large language model effect. And so you might think, wow, LLMs can really understand the Slack messages and they can understand the JIRA messages. And so maybe they can help me think through and make sense of this. And the truth is they can synthesize from it. They can make patterns from it. But if you're actually trying to solve a problem with deep understanding of real world, world context, they're not really very good at it. So for instance, I have tried this and LLMs do not reliably understand, for instance, how to assess the interrelated consequences of a JIRA ticket that is getting worked on slowly, the team dynamics behind it, the Slack messages that are coming in periodically, and all the other tickets that aren't getting done. And part of why, and that's a real world example, right? Like we've all seen that if we've worked in software. And part of why that is a problem is because so much of that context is hidden from a text perspective. Most of the world we work in actually doesn't just work on text. There's a lot of human context, unspoken things, things between the lines. LLMs are not good at that because they can't read it. And so even if we got something that was good at breaking news or good at recent updates, we still wouldn't have something that's good at reading between the lines because there's no text there. You have to read between the lines. It's real world context and LLMs are just not going to be good at it, but humans are. And that's something you can bet on too. Okay. Third one, AI is under opinionated. That's the third skill set. And what I mean by that is that AI is designed for conversational flow. It's designed to have a conversation that keeps going. And that means it's actually designed to mirror to you. They've done studies on this. And LLMs tend to mirror the opinion they think will keep you chatting. And for, for once, I actually do not think that that is a social algorithm designed to keep you addicted to chat. It may become that, but I think it's actually a situation where the large language model is trained to replicate patterns in your utterance in ways that make sense based on its very large training data set. And so it's going to come back with something that think match, it, it thinks matches. And so it's inherently a mirroring technology, which means it's inherently really bad at decision making because it's just going to come back and say what you say, which means it's not going to give you a separate perspective. Now you can brainstorm with it and it can help you expand your understanding of your own perspective. Absolutely. It can give you a loosely held summarization of some alternate views, sure. But what it will not do is take a strong position that is tightly held and say, this is what I really think should happen here because LLMs have no idea about what decisions are. They're not built for decisions, they're built for conversation. And so whether you work in business, whether you work in government, I don't care you are still going to need to make decisions. Humans need to make decisions. Even if you're just living your life and you don't have a job, humans need to make decisions. And humans are actually really good at saying, it's either A or B, I'm going to pick A and this is why. And LLMs just replicate human conversation that talks about picking A or B, 
but they don't have an understanding of what A is or what B is, and they certainly don't have an understanding of the choice. And so without that, they're not going to actually be making those decisions. They're not going to be recommending decisions in ways that are deeply reflective and deeply rational. And that is why, even if you are drafting with large language models, the innovation, the deep thought that comes with making good decisions is still going to have to come from a person. It, there's just no substitute for it. That's just the way it is. And that's a good thing. It means that there are skill sets that humans can rely on. All right, so let's wrap this up. What are the three skill sets that AI is not good at? that humans are really reliably good at that you can bet on. Number one, novel reasoning. Every role has some degree of novel reasoning and, or nearly every role. And AI is just not going to get there. Large language models are really, really bad at novel reasoning because they don't reason at all. And let alone reason over new context, they don't even know what new context is. Number two, real-time context. And this is related to the new context piece, but I want to talk specifically about the fact that so much of real-time context is around silences. It's around things that are between the lines. It's around a felt sense, the thing we call intuition. LLMs don't have that. Real-time context is going to remain pretty much impossible for them to gather. And number three, AI is under opinionated. It just doesn't have real opinions. It talks with you as if it does, but it doesn't. Those three things are actually all crucial for job success and always have been, and they're not going anywhere. And so if you are tired of getting link after link of like AI is taking my jobs, just come back to this post or share this post with someone who is worried about their role to remind them that there are skills, and I haven't even listed them all. These are just three to get started. There are skills that are going to keep mattering regardless. So don't give up hope.